Sounds good. Today we are going to be doing a part of our game scene. So in Doodle Jump they have portions of the game that are already pre-built. They aren't random, but they've got positions of where the monsters and platforms are already built. And so we're going to build out our little level scenes that are going to appear in our gameplay. Yeah, and so these groups of platforms will vary from difficulty. They'll be easy and there'll be harder ones. So that way we can choose these sections at random and have them spawn. And as you jump on the platforms, the whole section will move down. So here we are at our workstation and we have Unity open because we are going to keep building our Doodle Jump game. In this video, we're going to show you how to create a group of platforms that we will save as a prefab and then be able to spawn it or instantiate it into our game. And so to do this, we're going to start by creating an empty game object. So we'll go to the top, we'll click on game object and then create empty. Now what we'll need to do is center it in our scene view. So in the inspector, we'll change all its positions to 0, 0, 0. And then we'll need to rename it. So we'll click on it and I'm going to call it group one. Now this empty game object will serve the purpose of being the parent object to all the platforms that we will have attached. And so we'll now add the platforms to our group. So we'll use the standard platform that we created and saved as a prefab and just drag it into our hierarchy over our group one until it looks like it's going to be attached to it. Then we'll release and we can see that it's been added to the scene. And so now what we'll do is we'll duplicate this same platform many times over and reposition it throughout our scene view. And we'll only keep the platforms within the space of our background. So I'll right click and then click duplicate and then reposition it somewhere in our scene view. And this group that I'm making is just going to be a very standard group and it's going to, the difficulty level will be relatively easy. One thing that's important to remember while creating these groups is that at all times there needs to be at least one platform within reachable distance of your character. So what this means is that with every platform you have in your group, the next platform above it cannot be a greater distance away from that platform in the Y direction than the max or the highest jump that your main character will do. So for example, in our game, our character will always jump to the center of the screen in the Y direction. And when he jumps on a platform, that platform will then move to the bottom of the screen. So we can't have any platform that's at the bottom of the screen and then the next platform above zero. So that distance is what I'm talking about. But now that I've explained that, this current group that I've created, I've created it very simple, very easy, and I've only used the standard platforms. In the future, we'll be creating more platforms, platforms that move, platforms that break, platforms that disappear, and other platforms. We'll also be creating monsters. And so what you'll need to do is once you know how to create the, those types of platforms and you have those prefabs saved, you'll need to create other groups that include those platforms and those monsters. And so you can have three or four different levels of difficulty, maybe even five. You can have easy, medium, hard, and very hard, and extremely hard. And you'll need to have probably at least 10 or 20 of each of those groups. So we'll have 10 or 20 super easy groups, 10 or 20 medium groups, 10 or 20 hard groups, 10 or 20 very hard groups, and so on. And then what we'll do in a future video is show you how to spawn or instantiate those groups into your game. Now while you'll be making your groups at home, we'll be making ours as well. And so now that we've finished our first set of platforms, we can save it as a prefab. So we'll click on the group in the hierarchy and then we'll drag that into our prefabs folder. You can see now that it's in our prefabs folder and once we have it in our prefabs folder we can then go ahead and delete the group from our hierarchy. And then finally you'll want to save your scene and your project.
Alright, so we only built out a couple sections of this game, but you can build out as many as you want and insert them into your game at times when you want them to be inserted or at random. And we'll make sure that we continue to build different prefabs of sections for our game, and it's up to you to make yours. But make sure that you subscribe and catch us next time.